The Cognitech Tri-Suite software package includes Cognitech Video Investigator, Cognitech Video Active, and Cognitech Auto Measure. Video Investigator is Cognitech's comprehensive video processing platform for extracting the utmost available clarity from image or video sources. One of Video Investigator's powerful enhancement features, histogram equalization, will be covered in this interactive tutorial. In image processing, histograms are often used to assess a tonal makeup of an image. A histogram can display the total number of pixels which conform to a given tonal gray value in an image as a bar graph. Histograms commonly group tonal differences into 256 different gray values, with 0 representing a fully black value and 255 representing a fully white value. By visually analyzing a histogram, we can quickly assess a variety of information about an image and have a clearer understanding of what can be done to enhance image visibility. By looking at this histogram, we can see that tonal values for this image are fairly evenly distributed. We should therefore expect for the image to have a good balance of lighting and contrast. And we would be correct. This histogram shows that most of the pixel values are concentrated in the extreme bright areas of the image, so it's no surprise that our image is almost entirely overexposed. By looking at this image, we would expect that all of the pixels will have a tonal value of zero. However, by analyzing the image's histogram, we can see that there are some pixels in this image which are not fully black. By adjusting our histogram's bounds, we can enhance the visibility of this image. Adjusting the bounds in a histogram redistributes the tonal values of each pixel. In this histogram, I've adjusted the bounds from 0 to 255 to 64 to 192. Now all the pixels with tonal values less than or equal to 64 will represent a fully black tonal value, and the pixels with tonal values greater or equal to 192 will represent a fully white tonal value. The tonal value between 64 and 192 will now be evenly redistributed. Adjusting the bounds of an image's histogram is a quick way to enhance areas in an image that are too dark or too bright. However, it becomes increasingly difficult to evenly adjust the tone of an image that has areas that are both bright and dark by adjusting histogram bounds alone. In this image, adjusting the upper bounds to the point that the design on the chair is visible completely washes out the image in the window. Adjusting the lower bounds only further limits the visibility of the chair. Video Investigator's histogram equalization filter offers a solution for enhancing contrast and is especially useful in this type of situation. Just as the name of the filter suggests, the histogram equalization filter adjusts the tonal values in an image so that they are more equally distributed among pixels, resulting in a histogram whose values are also more equally distributed. Video Investigator's histogram equalization filter provides three distinct methods of equalization global equalization, local equalization, and morphological equalization. Global equalization stretches contrast expressed in an image to the best level possible with the given brightness possibilities of that image. Local equalization analyzes the local area surrounding each pixel in an image and computes a new value for that pixel that is more closely related to its neighbor's tonal values. Morpho-local equalization also analyzes the local area of pixels in an image, but unlike local equalization, it improves the contrast of the image without creating new features, such as new lines or edges. Let's see how easy it can be to enhance image contrast with the histogram equalization filter. I'll begin by opening a file by clicking on the open file icon. This image was underexposed, making it difficult to see some details in the image. Specifically, I'd like to be able to see the design printed on the chair. By looking at this image's histogram, 
we can see that most of the pixel values are grouped in the lower, darker tonal range. If I adjust the histogram bounds, I can reveal details in the dark areas of the image, but I will remove details in the lighter areas. For more even contrast adjustment, I'll use the histogram equalization filter. From the filters menu, I'll choose Enhancement, Histogram Equalization. I want to see the effects of my parameters in real time, so I'll begin by clicking on the Active button to turn on the active interface. The parameters are currently set to Morphological Equalization, and it seems to have done a good job in adjusting contrast, but there seems to be some areas like here and here that appear to be too dark. I could improve these areas by adjusting the parameters, but let's try another equalization filter first. I'll try the local equalization method. Local equalization has intensified the contrast in the image to the point that the design on the chair is unmistakably visible, and the textures on the floor and wall stand out significantly. However, this method has given the image an unnatural level of color and contrast. Let's try global equalization. Global equalization seems to have enhanced the image well, but if we look at the original image, we've lost some visibility in the contrast of the floor. Let's go back to Morpho Local Equalization and adjust the parameters. These settings seem to provide a good balance of contrast and visual clarity. I'll choose Process to apply these settings to the image and then Finish to close the window. Let's take a look at the output image's histogram. Before, the histogram of this image showed that most of the pixels lay in the darker values. Now, tonal values are more equally represented throughout. Congratulations! You have successfully enhanced the contrast of an image with Video Investigator's histogram equalization filter. For sales or technical questions, contact us at sales at cognitech.com or tech support at cognitech.com or visit us at www.cognitech.com.